This is without doubt the longest grind I've done so far on this account and I cannot wait to show you this episode. In the last video we managed to smash out 99 thieving while making some solid gains towards our next 99 which is crafting. Now I don't want to waste any more time and let's just get on with the video. There's 93 crafting, closing in on 99. <laughs> And it's been a while since I've said this, but there is a farming level 81. We've just done our first full farm run, including the teak trees, and per run it is 66.5k, so not bad at all there. 98 crafting, and I think that's the last thing that you can actually do with crafting, which is make the torture amulet. Here is the final bit of green dragon leather that we have to buy for... 99 crafting only 777 leather to go oh my god i didn't press record and i literally missed the biggest level that you can miss on the game um yeah sorry about that i don't know what i was literally talking for about 10 minutes about how much the crafting cape is gonna help and i i literally missed the level i don't even understand how i've managed to do that but we sold all of the green dragon leather back and we've got an 18 mil cash stack which means if I bought the bludgeon back, then we'll still have a 7 mil cash stack. So I'm not really sure how that's possible because I'm pretty sure I had like a 21 or 22 mil cash stack. And I calculated it to be a 19 to 20 mil loss. But yeah, we've still got quite a lot of money to play with. The reason why I have got crafting so early on is because it's going to help with my next 99. And I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to guess what the next 99 will be. And if you guessed room crafting, then you are correct. Here we are at the altar that we are going to be using for the room crafting grind. I bought the ring of the element, a couple of thousand lore and astral runes and stuff. All in all, cost me about two and a bit mil to afford. But I believe you just use a thousand of each elemental rune on this. So I'm going to put a thousand in there. So that's it charged. And then you do you just use it on that? No. So with the Ring of the Elements charged, I'm actually able to teleport straight to the water altar by clicking last destination and it plants us all the way out here for the water altar. And then obviously after we craft our runes, we can use the crafting cape to teleport us. And here is the first level of the grind. There is 78 rune crafting. Now, I apologize for the screen markers that you are going to see on the screen for like basically all of the room crafting clips. It basically just helps me with my um, with my clicks, to be honest. This is just a little fun fact here. 1.190 million pure essence will get us from our current level of 78 to 99. Hello there. Oh my fucking god, what? We just got the pet. <laughs> we just got the pet. I cannot believe that. We've just got our first pet on the account and it's the Rift Guardian at 78 room crafting. That is insane. That is insane. And here we are with 79 room crafting. Calm down a bit since we've got the Guardian Rift. Getting it at level 78 is, is pretty insane to be fair. Uh, I'm not sure of the rarity, especially from the um, the water altar as well, because it's not a high level altar. It might be like even rarer. I'm not too sure about that though. My ring of elements has just run out of charge, so I'm just here uh, putting up to 10,000 charges, which I think is the most amount of charges that you can actually use for the uh, ring of elements. And there is 80 rune crafting. I just really, really want the colossal pouch because once we get that the xp rates are going to be really nice we're now up to over 100k mud runes which is 9.6 mil so we're nearly at 10 mil in blood runes uh the pure s are buying we've got 481k ae1 rune crafting just hit 85 mage as we're doing some rune crafting the mage level is from when we cast magic imbue 82 rune crafting there's 84 rune crafting i I'm so ready to be done with this like 71k XP an hour. Um, I'm just looking forward to being able to get 
uh, upwards to 95k XP an hour. And now with this run here, we have finally got 85 rune crafting, which is absolutely massive because now we have unlocked the Colossal Pouch. So we use the Abyssal Needle that we got from the Guardians of the Rift mini game on these pouches here and then we combine them all for the Colossal Pouch, which can store 40s at a time. I'm so happy. I'm going to use the Runelite plugin, which is Menu Entry Swapper, to just fill. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so huge. That is so huge. I'm now going to show the Mud Rune stack that we've got from 70 to 85 Rune Crafting. As you can see, 298. 000, which is 27.4 mil currently that is going to be the last time that i'm actually going to show it until we get 99 room crafting just as a little surprise so if you look in my chat there um it just says that i have a funny feeling that i would have been followed at 3.4 million runecrafting xp which means i technically <laughs> have gotten the runecrafting pet twice now uh, and i know people that have gone about 19 to 20 mil xp dry on the runecrafting pet and people have probably gone way over that as well so um yeah i i all i can say is uh sorry i guess <laughs> my rng on this account is nothing short of crazy so currently close to 100k xp an hour i don't know whether if i'll be able to maintain this because i've only been doing it for 18 minutes but if i can maintain 100k xp an hour then i'll be extremely happy with that And there is the halfway point to 99 runecrafting. So I had a bit of a problem with the recording and originally I was only going to show the room stack at 90 and then wait till 99. But because the recording messed up, I'm going to show you exactly how much runes we have. 668k mud runes. So we're up to 72.3 mil at the moment. And here is another level 87 magic coming in. There is 93 crafting coming in. 83 farming. Now grow spirit trees. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so yeah, that is the third farming level since I picked it back up. Unfortunately, the recording messed up for uh, I think two farming levels so it's nice to get back on the grind especially only doing fruit trees as well because it's it's really really easy 94 rune crafting lovely lovely stuff I'm so excited to get this rune crafting grind over with now even though I've enjoyed it I'm very excited to get it over with because all I've done from 77 rune crafting to 94 currently is just runecraft like this that's all i've done just found a dragon implant strolling through Ooh, 177 dragon dart tips 326k mate oh so i just hit 95 runecrafting and i forgot to record it but we are now in the realm of having to wait just about 10 hours for a runecrafting level oh and i didn't even realize there is 88 mage at the start of runecrafting i genuinely thought that i'd probably get about 85 or 86 magic but we're probably gonna get 89 at the end of it and uh, which helps massively because technically it's zero hours trained anyway i think i'm gonna get 96 before i attempt the inferno 96 rune crafting i think now it yeah it's over a mil to a level now currently we are nearly 97 rune crafting and i've just logged in and i've just checked the price of mud runes okay and originally when i started they were 92 gp each then they went as low as 64 gp i'm gonna reveal how many mud runes i've actually made so for the big reveal here we are 1.35 million mud runes with 192k steam runes the reason why i want to sell them is because they have gone up to 100 gp each even though it says 90 here they have gone up to 100 gp each and as you can see that is 100 and 
Well, actually, with the price check here, that is 135.35 mil for 100 GP each for 134 mil, basically. Will they sell? So I've sold 28,000 so far for 2.781 mil GP. If they don't sell, um, at 100 GP each, then that is completely fine because at the end of the room crafting grind, I'm just gonna take them all out and then see how much we've made. And 97 room crafting, and there is 98 room crafting, which means we can now make eight mine rooms at a time. Huge, huge moment. I will just quickly update you on the mud rooms as well. So we've sold. 558k which is 55 mil worth of mud runes i think they're about 85 gp at the moment and i've still got them in for 100 gp each so that will probably be the most that we'll get out of 100 gp worth of mud runes which i mean 55 mil not too shabby at all 89 on magic incoming uh, which means that will be the final level for room crafting. So I believe after these are done, there we go. Under a hundred, a thousand pure essence to go. And this is it. Here we are at the end of our room crafting grind. 62 XP to go. I think I'm in the Guardians of the Rift world. That's why there's so many people here. But 62 XP to go to end the grind. Here we are. Boom. 99 room crafting. <laughs> finally, finally achieved. Ah, oh, that feels so good. And of course, the first thing that we need to do after getting 99 room crafting is get our cape from Aubrey. Can we trade him? And does he sell it? He does indeed. And there we go. The room crafting cape has been acquired on the account. Let's do the emote because the emote is pretty iconic, to be completely honest and there we go the room crafting and no but the main thing and i'm gonna stop stalling is the mud rooms there we go we made an extra 434k on top of the 1.35 million we made of course we've got some steam rooms as well 192k of them so we've made close to 2 mil rooms in total which is actually nuts to think about to be honest there is the first cash stack the 55 million gp cash stack now how many mud rooms do we have we have 1.229 so I'm just going to wait for them to sell. Hopefully, they don't take too long to sell. But we still have a 55 mil cash stack. And looks like quite a lot of selling at the moment. So we've sold 3.6k and we've made 306k. The buddy is going to be so, so nice. And what's our bank value going to be up to? I think our bank value is going to be over 300 mil. So I've just logged back in after about an hour and a half of waiting for the mud rooms to sell and about 53,000 sold. So rather than just sort of log out and wait for them to sell overnight or whatever, I'm just going to log in and just do some tick manipulation with fishing. It's not actually too like intense anyway, so... I'm quite happy to just sort of sit here and do this, even if it's for a couple of fishing levels, just to wait for all my mud rooms to sell before I, you know, go on a bit of a spending spree. So we've just picked up a hard clue scroll. To be completely honest, I forgot that you can get clue scrolls from fishing. All right, and that is the clue scroll completed for the... Ooh, a Saradome and... Oh, I mean, a Zamorak paid for, but we get a master clue. Now, the question is, are we able to do the first step? I was actually concerned that this would be a clue step. And it is, as you can see, penance healers, which obviously means a fire torso, which I don't actually have. I'm going to go and get a fire torso. Yeah, if anyone would like to help, feel free to join my clan chat. Just hit AE fishing lovely stuff absolutely huge huge news as you can see here 377,000 mud runes have been sold which means we have made a profit of so get the 72 mil get the 31 mil 103 mil here we go if we get this cash stack here 174 million gp made from a room crafting, which is such a nice cash stack to see. If we put it in the bank, 
370 mil. Now you may be wondering, what am I going to do with this 174 mil? Am I going to spend it on a Bible 99 such as Herb Law or Construction, Prayer even? But no, what my plan is I'm going to spend it on gear for slayer basically so i'm going to spend it on combat gear and then make all of my money for bibles from slayer going forward so every single boss task that i get i will do so that we can make the money to get construction herb law prayer and all that the last thing to do on this video is to go on a bit of a spending spree so yeah this is going to be fun i'm also going to make one huge huge upgrade as well which is to buy rigor at the moment of recording a dex is currently 37 mil so yeah, that's going to be a 37 mil like cash sink that we're never going to get back. And I am more than happy to do that because a DEX, as everyone knows, is a massive upgrade. So I'm going to try and buy it for 38 mil and it buys for 37.8 mil. And here we go. If we read it, 37 mil gone. And there we go. We have now unlocked Rigger, which is such a massive upgrade for the account. I am absolutely buzzing with that. But we still got 136 mil left. So let's go on a massive spending spree. And for now, this is all of the upgrades I can think from the top of my head, to be completely honest. And we've still got 21 mil left over. And that's going to be for I'm going to buy quite a lot of supplies as well. So I'm going to probably sink about five to 10 mil worth of supplies. Just look at the upgrades. Honestly, it is insane. Now just look at our melee gear now. It looks insane. We've got the Abyssal Dagger for the Stripe Trading and then the Whip for the Attack and Defense. We've also got Primordial and Ferocious Gloves, which we can't actually wear just yet. I still need to get the torso. So when this video goes out, I'll be looking for some people to do the torso grind with. So if anyone wants to do that, let me know. We're, we're making some big, big upgrades to the account. And we still have, as I say, we still have 22 mil left over. So we've still got quite a lot of cash um, to work with as well. That will be it for this video. And I hope everyone has enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. I apologize for the delay in this one.